walking to my next job again. Thank God it's Friday, last shift. Anyway, I just wanted to talk about, first of all, the whole P. Diddy thing. Everyone's judging him and uh, roasting him and mocking him, rightfully so, if everything's true. I'm one of the people mocking him, but let's have another perspective on this. We're all imperfect, right? We all make mistakes. Can you honestly look in, your, look in the mirror and say, I haven't done anything despicable in my life? I'll be the first to say I've done shitloads of despicable stuff. Could you honestly say, if you yourself, you the person I'm talking to through the screen right now, had all the money, all the power, all the access to celebrities, money, uh, mansions, connections, globally, the power to control other people, blackmail other people, do you think you, would, you wouldn't exercise any of that power? Zero percent? You don't think you'll take advantage of any of that power? A lot of you would. Shit, a lot, some, of you are, some of you are managers at your job and you exercise unnecessary power. Some of you are bouncers at a nightclub and you reject people just for the plain fact you don't like what they look like. We all do it in some small, on a small scale. So imagine having the fortune and the fame that uh, fucking Puff Daddy has. I don't think it's good for the human mind. And I think it would easily get to more than half of us normal people. We don't know what it's like to deal with that kind of world. We just sit here and, and throw stones from a glass house because it's easy. Us normal people, we're like the people behind the keyboard online, you know, we can say whatever we want. And the people decide the narrative. I'm not saying P Diddy's a good guy or anything like that. Because I mock the shit out of him. Look look at my channel. Look at my um look at the videos I make. I try. Obviously it's it's entertainment, I'm trying to make people laugh. We all do fucked up fucked up shit, you know? I don't know. Some of us more than others. There's some real saints out there, but even some saints have gone through some shit maybe when they're younger. Some of our nanas, you know, like they're such beautiful souls. But we don't know what they did when they were 19, 20, 27, 33, you know, we, and like most Christians know, we're all sinners. All of us. Also, in regards to Diddy, when was it ever a crime to one, be gay, and two, when was Freak Offs a crime? These, these celebrities that show up, they're going to the Freak Offs willingly, they're signing up for this shit. So how's that a crime? Disgusting and low. Kind of like what Weinstein did. These things are low, but these, these people that are going to these things, they clearly benefited off it and they, they chose, they chose that path. Knowing, that, knowing what they were getting out of it. It doesn't excuse the disgusting behavior. But there's two to tango in those, in those uh, situations. And that person willing to bend over, sell their soul, to, get, to make a career in entertainment, they're, as much, they're, they're to blame as well. Like Cat Williams said, you've got to say no. I guess he's got allegations of underage stuff, you know, the whole Justin Bieber thing. So that's definitely wrong in every possible way. I'm not here to advocate for Diddy, you know? I'm just saying, when you look at guys like Diddy, John Jones, Mike Tyson, when you see these people fuck up on the world stage, Conor McGregor, Robert Downey, Robert Downey Jr., you know, when you see these people fuck up on the world stage, it's easy to just pile onto them. But they are humans at the end of the day. Maybe God will deal with them in his own way. What do you guys think?